So I wanted to come to you now, and, and as, as, as I think about it, it's like the first week in December, right? So we have one month left, really probably two weeks, depending on what your schedule is, to make hay, if you will, while the sun is shining, before your year's up. So the question is, what can you do? What can you do to, to end the year the strongest possible? Because I realize it's probably been a weird year, depending on who you are. I mean, we have some clients who have had their biggest year ever with two months off about a third of them. And we have some that are having a great year, even with two months off. And then of course, I know some people that are struggling or maybe even lost their businesses. So the question becomes, there's two, three weeks left, depending on your schedule. What can you do to finish it strong? What are the final things that you can do that you can be persuasive with patients to choose health during a weird time and have them pay for it so you can recognize the income and from a financial statements perspective, you can end with a good year. You know, one of the things we'll be talking about here soon is what are you going to do to set plans for the new year? Probably come out in January. But what can you do to finish strong right now? You know, as I think about, I love using the metaphor of a, a race, 100 yard dash, marathon, don't care which one, both the same. It's not a matter how fast you start, right? If you're in the 100 yard dash, you're in those blocks and you get out fast and you get out faster than Usain Bolt and you're going down the track, you got to get across the finish line first or it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how fast you start, it matters how fast you finish. So the question is, how can you finish fast this year? How can you get across the finish line with the results that will make you happy, that will make you proud, that your year turns out the way you wanted it to? Everyone's got to have an individual answer. I think this would be a great coaching call to get in touch with your coach and have a conversation about it. And if, you, if you're, it's been a while since you've been a client of ours, give me a call. I'll be more than happy to brainstorm with you how you can finish this strong. My number is 719-357-9564. Call me, please. Happy to chat with you. But how can you do what you've been doing and dial it up just a little bit more for a couple weeks so you cross that finish line strong? You know, maybe it's same-day conversions for you. Maybe it's calling a few of those bigger cases that aren't in the schedule. If you have some space in your schedule still, you might not have some, depending on what your schedule's like. And if it is your schedule is full and you can't call someone else to put them in, there's always a little opportunity in there to squeeze another person in or bring someone over from the hygiene chair and get it done. What is it you can do? And maybe for you it's not even economic. You know, I think of one of the videos I got from one of our clients in the Midwest, and it was really, really touching to me. She went out and, and you know, wasn't necessarily one of our fastest starters as a client, but has come on strong at the end, which is all that matters. And then sends us a video of how she's having one of her better months and she's in the carpool line to pick up her, her son from school for the first time in three years, I think it was. And then sends us a selfie of her son because he didn't know she was coming to pick him up. She didn't want to tell him because she's afraid she'd let him down. Then sends us a selfie picture of his arms wrapped around her neck. And you know, it just almost brought tears to my eyes because I, I, I know the heart of this, this person. Dr. Holly's her name. She's an amazing, amazing, amazing person. And, and to see and hear her voice, a little crack in her voice, sharing her excitement to be in that carpool line, you know, maybe that's the finishing strong for the year that you need to do. Maybe it's not about your business. Maybe it's about your health. Maybe it's about your relationships. I, I don't know what it is for you. But there's something you can do to finish this year strong and then set up the next year for success. You know, four or five weeks, about four weeks, you're going to get a video from me all about goal setting for next year. And I want you to start thinking about that. I want you to start dreaming as you come across the finish line strong to see what we can do to start next year even better than. So... Rally with your team, rally with your coach, have a plan. You don't finish the, get across the finish line by accident fast. It's all intentional. So have a plan, execute on it, measure it, and then let's adjust when we talk the first of the year. Otherwise, go out and crush it.
and kill it for the last few weeks. Thanks so much.